Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. Now, Leanne can attest to this. Uh, Leanne knows it very well that I have a, a slight case of, shall we call it, technophobia. I mean, I have a tablet at home, but I still stick to my trusty notebook and a pen. I think I'd also use a scroll and a feather and ink if that was still available today. I have a, a, a little comfort. It gives me pen and paper. But there are some technologies or innovations that I do subscribe to, especially those that save you money and that save the environment and uh, resources such as uh, water and that's exactly what this next invention is about it is uh, the uh, WHC leakless valve and I'm here with the inventor Paseka Lissolang a very good morning to you thank you so much for joining us good morning how are you I'm very well thank you and I'll be even better if you can tell me what this invention of yours does and how it makes a difference thank you very much and greetings to the audience out there uh, my name is Pasika Lesolang. I'm about to demonstrate the leakless valve. We have a huge problem in, in, the, in the market. Toilets can waste anything between 30 to 700 liters of water a day. That's equivalent to seven bathtubs full of water. Now imagine the amount of money that would consume. That, be, that being said, I'd, I'd like to show you how the leakless valve operates, if I may. Please do. And uh, just also to put a bit of a disclaimer out there, the show really started around 8 o'clock today. So he's given us a, a sneak preview. He's going to show us uh, the display manually. But uh, when we do go live and when uh, the display and exhibition begins at 8 o'clock, it will be a bit better because the water will be going in there. But for the purposes of the display, please show us uh, how it would work. Okay. Thank you very much. So what would occur is that as you flush, water, water comes into the system. And uh, given that the pace of this water is a bit too slow, I will now add a few more water just to demonstrate what this is all about. In the instance of a leak, water would escape the cistern. With our technology at a predetermined level, it would lock, stopping the water from constantly flowing in. So now that the water is coming in, this is on a diagonal level. As it reaches a predetermined level, it would reach a horizontal level and it would lock. So in a few minutes, let's just listen to, to the snap. I will just increase the pace of the water for demonstration purposes. How did you come up with this? Well, once upon a time, I was seated in my grandmother's house in uh, Harankua, a township uh, northwest of uh, Tswane CBD. And there was this annoying sound coming from the cistern, day and night. Just so you know, it just locked. As I'm explaining the story, so instead of just being annoyed about this, I decided to approach the cistern and I closed the tab that leads the water into the cistern and the, water st uh, the, the sound stopped. So logic prevailed that it's the water coming in that's causing the sound. But I asked myself, why is this case? Shouldn't it automatically just stop? So I decided to do a fur further more research considering that uh, getting a plumber was not an option for my grandmother given the financial constraint constraints I decided to apply my mind so I did research on the causes of the sound and I found out that if you conduct what they call a leak detection test by taking food coloring pouring it into the uh, cistern diluting it with the water and closing the tap after a few minutes if you open the bowl and there's a column of water flowing, a column of that colored water flowing from the cistern. That's a clear indication that you have a leak. Further on to my research, I found out that you could lose anything between 30 to 700 liters of water a day. So I started thinking, what about 10 houses, our community, the province, the country? Considering that we are living in a semi-arid country, and according to the Department of Water and Sanitation, by 2025, our water consumption might exceed availability of supply. This was a huge concern to me. So I started doing something about it. So instead of complaining, I found a solution. I love that. I absolutely love that. And that's just uh, one of the inventions or uh, exhibits that you will see here today at the CSIR, the International Convention Center. I'm surrounded by them and not just in the water and sanitation field. I saw some uh, some people from the medical department uh, there, some people from education, young people. And we'll try and show you a little bit more of those exhibitions a little bit later. Valen, this is definitely food for thought. And uh, while I leave you with that, let's take a look at the sport.